Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll be discussing GCP Digital Leader Real Exam Questions, and this is part 5 of the series. Before we start, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a video. Starting with question 21, your organization wants to migrate its data management solutions to Google, Google Cloud because it needs to dynamically scale up or down and to run transactional SQL queries against a historical data at scale. Which Google Cloud product or service should your organization use? Let's go through the options. Option A, BigQuery. Option B, Cloud Bigtable. Option C, PubSub. And option D, Cloud Spanner. So option A, BigQuery. It's a data warehouse, and it, uh, which means it stores large amounts of data. But that is not required in the question. You want to run transactional SQL queries at scale in this question. So we don't need BigQuery. So let's cross off option A. Option B is Cloud Big Table, which is a NoSQL database. But in the question, we need a SQL database since we need to run transactional SQL queries. So option B is also not the answer. Now option C, PubSub has a completely different function. It ingests analytical data and it runs uh, it streams them into BigQuery. So that is why option C is also not the answer. So let's cross off option C. So now we're only left with option D, so that will be our answer, Cloud Spanner. So here's a slide with all the reasons why A, B, and C are not the answers. Please go through the reasons. So finally, option D, Cloud Spanner, is our answer for question 21. Moving on to question 22. Which Google Cloud product is designed to reduce the risks of handling personally, personally identifiable information, PII? So let's go through the options. Option A, Cloud Storage. Option B, Google Cloud Armor. Option C, Cloud Data Loss Prevention. And Option D, Secret Manager. So option A, Cloud Storage is clearly not the answer since it's only for storage. So let's cross off option A. Now option B, Cloud, Google Cloud Armor. We've discussed this before. It's for preventing DDoS attacks, which are a type of cyber attacks. So that is why option B is also not the answer. Now option C will be our answer, Cloud Data Loss Prevention, which does exactly what the question asks. It is designed to reduce the risk of handling personally identifiable, identifiable information, PII. So Cloud Data Loss Prevention is our answer. But let's go through option D, Secret Manager. Uh, it's not the answer since Secret Manager is only for storing uh, API keys and passwords, etc. So that's why option D is not the answer. Secret Manager will be crossed off. So we're left with C, which I have said before is the answer. So here's a slide explaining why A, B, and D are not the answers. Please go through the reasons. So finally, C, Cloud Data Loss Prevention, is the answer for question 22. Moving on to question 23, I've al already highlighted the keyword and the answer. Let's go through the question. Your organization wants to run a container-based application on Google Cloud. This application is expected to increase in complexity. You have a security need for fine-grained control of traffic between the containers. You also have an operational need to exercise fine-grained control over the application scaling policies. What Google Cloud product or feature should your organization use? So the answer is a uh, Kubernetes engine cluster, but let's go through the other options as well. Uh, App engine, which is option B, option C is cloud run, and option D is compute engine virtual machines. So one thing you need to keep in mind is whenever a question is asking for a container-based application and it requires a fine-grained control over anything, fine-grained control over traffic between the containers and fine-grained control over scaling policies or the application scaling policies, we'll always choose Google Kubernetes Engine Cluster. Anything related to Kubernetes will be the answer. Now, option C, Cloud Run does the same thing. It runs cloud container-based applications on Google Cloud, but, it, but we're choosing Google Kubernetes Engine over Cloud Run since Google Kubernetes Engine is more fine-grained and Cloud Run is not. So let's cross off C, uh, Cloud Run. Now, App Engine uh, is for monolithic uh, applications, that one-layered applications. But the question requires container-based applications, 
which are not monolithic in nature. So that is why app engine is not the answer. So let's cross off option B, app engine. Now option D, computer engine virtual machines, as it says, is for uh, virtual machines, is for creating virtual machines. So that is clearly not the answer. So let's cross off option D, too. So B, C, and D were crossed off. So clearly option A, which I said before, is the answer. So finally, option A, Google Kubernetes engine cluster, is the answer for question 23. Moving on to question 24. Which Google Cloud product or feature makes specific recommendations based on security risks and compliance violations? Let's go through the options. Option A, Google Cloud Firewalls. Option B, Security Command Center. Option C, Cloud Deployment Manager. And Option D, Cloud Google Cloud Armor. Now we have discussed Google Cloud Armor before. It's for prevention of DDoS attacks and doesn't necessarily give you specific recommendations based on your security risks. So that is why option D is not the answer. Now Google Cloud Firewalls, it only, just like it says, it's only a firewall. It won't necessarily give you recommendations. So it is also not the answer. Now option C, Cloud Deployment Manager, is a deployment service that automates the creation and management of Google Cloud resources. So Cloud Deployment Manager is also not the answer. So let's cross off option C. So A, C, and D have been eliminated. So clearly option B is the answer, Security Command Center. So finally, option B is our answer for question 24. Question 25, which Google Cloud product gives you a consistent platform for multi-cloud application deployments and extends other Google Cloud services to your environment? All right, so let us go through the options. Option A is Google Kubernetes Engine. Option B is Virtual Public Cloud. Option C is Compute Engine. And option D is Anthos. So whenever the question asks for anything multi-cloud related, Anthos should be the answer. So even in this question, option D, Anthos is our answer. Well, let's still go to the other options. We'll start with option B, virtual public cloud. It's for net network connectivity between two clouds, but we don't need that in the question. So option B, virtual public cloud is not the answer. So let's cross it off. Option C, compute engine, it's for it only exists as Compute Engine and GCP, and it has different terminologies in other cloud services. So it won't work in all services, and it's not multi-cloud. So option C, Compute Engine, is not the answer. So let's cross it off. And similarly, Google Kubernetes Engine, which is option A, is also not multi-cloud. So we'll cross off option A too. So A, B, and C have been crossed off. They have been eliminated. So option D, Anthos, is our answer. So finally, option D, Anthos, is our answer for question 25. All right, guys, that was the end of this part. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a video. That was the end of part five of GCP Digital Leader Real Exam Questions. See you guys in the next part.